Mr. Men, Little Miss, I Am Angry, a book about managing anger. This is a story about feeling angry. Mr. Grumpy has a very bad temper. In fact, he's quite the most bad-tempered person you can imagine. You may have heard that he has even torn pages out of books in anger, so don't let him near this one. Do you ever have big feelings that make you want to shout, scream, kick, or throw things? It's normal to feel angry sometimes. We all experience lots of different feelings, including ones that don't make us feel good. And it can be really hard to know what to do with those feelings. When Little Miss Somersault is feeling angry, she takes deep breaths and does some gentle yoga moves, which help her to feel calmer. But Mr. Grumpy finds it harder to manage his anger. He sighs deeply when he is irritated, shouts loudly when he feels frustrated, and sometimes breaks things when he is really angry. What might you do when you are angry? One day, Mr. Grumpy was in a particularly bad mood. He had snapped at Little Miss Tiny when she asked if he could help her reach something off a high shelf. Then, he had shouted at the shopkeeper because the queue wasn't moving fast enough. And when Mr. Slow was slowly leaving the store in front of him, Mr. Grumpy had pushed past, almost knocking him over. Little Miss Chatterbox was walking along the high street when she saw Mr. Grumpy. Good morning, Mr. Grumpy, and what a good morning it is. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and now I've met you. I always feel like it brightens even the grayest day to have a chat with a friend, and I do love to talk. I was only just saying to the bus driver. Little Miss Chatterbox definitely does like to talk and she talks a lot. But as you may have realized, Mr. Grumpy does not. Mr. Grumpy was getting angrier and angrier the more that Little Miss Chatterbox chattered. In fact, he was soon so angry that he stamped his feet and dropped his shopping on the floor. Little Miss Chatterbox was shocked, but she continued talking and tried to reason with Mr. Grumpy. Oh, and Mr. Grumpy, I was just being friendly. I think you need to calm down and... But Mr. Grumpy wasn't listening. Have you ever noticed that it can be hard to understand what someone is saying when you're feeling angry? Unfortunately, Mr. Grumpy's anger made Little Miss Chatterbox start to have very big feelings of her own. Her heart was beating faster, and she began to tremble and feel very cross inside. Then Little Miss Chatterbox ranted and raged at Mr. Grumpy. Now, Little Miss Chatterbox was feeling very, very angry. When Little Miss Chatterbox is angry, she talks. Well, she shouts even more than normal. But the more that Little Miss Chatterbox shouted, the angrier Mr. Grumpy became. He turned his back on Little Miss Chatterbox, which infuriated her even more. How do you react when you feel angry about something? At that moment, Mr. Greedy was walking back from his daily shopping trip when he noticed their argument. He could see they were angry as he approached and he decided to stop and talk to them. Hello, Mr. Grumpy and Little Miss Chatterbox, he said calmly. I can see that you are both feeling angry, and I want to help you. Mr. Greedy repeated himself when he realized that they hadn't heard him. He knew that a good way to diffuse their anger was to try to move them on to something else as calmly as possible. Slowly, Little Miss Chatterbox stopped shouting, and Mr. Grumpy turned round, and they both looked at him. "'Why don't you come to mine for some lunch, Mr. Grumpy?' asked Mr. Greedy, to which Mr. Grumpy nodded grumpily, and little Miss Chatterbox smiled gratefully. "'Great, let's go,' said Mr. Greedy. "'I'll see you soon, little Miss Chatterbox,' he smiled reassuringly, and with a wave they were on their way. For once, little Miss Chatterbox was silent. She didn't know what to think or feel. Her angry reaction had taken her by surprise.' Little Miss Chatterbox was glad that Mr. Greedy had stopped their argument, but she still felt unsettled and upset. She decided to ask Little Miss Wise for advice, as she knew that she'd know just what to say and do to help her feel better. Little Miss Wise was delighted to see Little Miss Chatterbox, but she could tell that her friend wasn't her usual happy, chatty self. When Little Miss Chatterbox had found her voice again, she told her what had happened. Things can get heated quickly when we have angry feelings, said Little Miss Wise. The best way to help is to take a break and come back to the problem when you are feeling calmer. You really do live up to your name, Little Miss Wise, replied Little Miss Chatterbox happily. 
That makes perfect sense. How do you help yourself when you feel angry? Meanwhile, Mr. Grumpy had just finished tucking into a big lunch. I get too angry sometimes, said Mr. Greedy, normally when I'm hungry. I was hungry when I left the house, as I had no food left for breakfast, replied Mr. Grumpy. Well, I'd say that called for a big breakfast at the cafe before you started shopping, smiled Mr. Greedy. I bet you would have been less irritable with a full belly. Mr. Grumpy begrudgingly agreed. Then Mr. Greedy explained that there are lots of different things you can do to help when you are feeling angry. Mr. Grumpy agreed to practice some new ways of responding to his emotions over the coming days. Drinking a glass of water helped a little when he was irritated, but he found that squeezing a stress ball helped much more. When he was annoyed, getting outside for a run helped him feel better, if taking deep breaths didn't work. And when he felt himself getting angry with someone else, walking away and having a break was a much more helpful thing to do. A few days later, Mr. Greedy saw Mr. Grumpy and Little Miss Chatterbox having a heated conversation. Were they angry with each other again? Mr. Greedy followed his own advice and took some deep breaths before he approached them. But do you know what? They were rather enthusiastically sharing their tips for managing their anger. Now Mr. Greedy was the one stunned into silence.